Right, so you're doing two separate interviews. I am, yeah. Okay, we better try and mix it up a bit then. <laughs> yeah, we've got to yeah. I've actually got another shirt. Literally the same. Just asking exactly the same question. Yeah, well. yeah. I'm going to begin uh, just by firstly just speaking about the great cast in this movie. I mean, you've got Jermaine Clement, uh, Noel Fielding, Nick Frost, are both yeah. involved as well. You must have been so thrilled to be collaborating with kind of real giants of, of comedy in, in this movie. Yeah, yeah ab- absolutely. Yeah, I'm I'm so pleased you mentioned that actually because it's a real uh, you know I'm I'm fans of these people. You know, it was it was really uh, amazing to have like. Um, Jermaine and like, uh, well, I suppose the the two ones who were there kind of for the for the longest were, were Jermaine and and, and Claudia. Um, uh, but yeah, also 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 Nick and like and Noel. Them. So of course, yeah. Noel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Nick Nick and Noel. Not not quite as much, but like, but like they're all people. Like I'm, I'm the Bush was like one of a real formative influence on me. Uh, I really love like the Concords. Um, like Claudia. I mean Claudia. I just think is like, I mean she was in it just throughout I'm just so good at like improvising and stuff and um uh and I'm also just a you know huge fan of Nick Frost's work and like they, these are all people who have just done really like gold-plated good stuff so like it's almost a bit intimidating actually because you're like god they're they're really they're really great when you said Nick and Noel I just thought of Nick Nolte and thought he's like, <laughs> Nick Nolte yeah yeah and, and, and Nick Nolte's in it yeah and of Nick course Nolte's in it. and yeah. of course the great Nick Nolte <laughs> Jermaine was there on uh, on on week one day one um and I'd say if anything I'd say he was actually slightly t- too funny. He was slightly kind of was like, can you just dial it down? Yeah, I've interviewed him once like, before and he just came to the door with a plate of strawberries and just went, strawberry? And yeah, I just yeah. Myself yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was just kind of doing stuff that was not in the script, um, but that was that was great. And it, it's just, yeah, he was working with someone like that is kind of quite, quite daunting because you're trying to be like, I can keep up with you just about. But like, it's, um, uh, yeah really a real privilege because uh, I mean I guess obviously you guys are sort of well versed in comedy now is that I mean, that must just be the way it is all the time when you make comedies I, I, it just must be one of those things where there must be so many moments on set where you just have to just try and contain it and it must sometimes just be a little bit too hard to contain there was a, there was a good bit where like um, they made Claudia improvise this bit of dialogue while we were walking across this field and Claudia did like her like top 100 scariest animals but like just the 400 but like <laughs> um and that was just in, that was insanely funny i was just like i mean the film was in the back but i think my shoulders were shaking because i was laughing so much but her scariest animal her number one was domestic cat which i thought was uh which i thought was genius but yeah um that was a that was a good moment i felt they should have probably written some dialogue for that part of the film actually mm. but um i guess they thought they didn't really need to mm. winging it yeah, yeah. winging it what would you say is both of your favourite festival? You must have a favourite that you've been to or go to on a regular basis. Oh, I like Glastonbury. I like all of them, to be fair. Everyone I've been to have enjoyed, almost like uh, Best of Earl and Leeds and Reading have been brilliant. But uh, I think Glastonbury's... Like Glastonbury's, I feel like you could spend three days at Glastonbury and never see a band and still have a brilliant time because yeah. it's so vast. And I think that's really... Uh, that's one of the... Also, I'm almost consistently drunk when I go there, so yeah, that will help. Always helps, doesn't it? Takes the edge off. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> I suppose for me, I mean, I, I kind of, I went to V a lot when I was a kid because I'm from near Chelmsford. So like that was kind of my, those are maybe my like fondest memories because I, I think when you're young, it tends to kind of hit a bit deeper and it's all a bit newer. And um, so, yeah, for me, probably that. It must have been weird being at a festival because this was shot at Leeds, wasn't it? Uh, Leeds so, yeah, Leeds festival, yeah. festival yeah. and not have been drunk. Or were you all just drunk when you were making it? We weren't allowed to get drunk. drunk. I mean, no. I, I, well, I don't know what, I don't understand the attitude of the producers, but... but um, <laughs> It was a bit. It's, it's a funny thing to be quite focused and to be quite kind of like, right, we've got to be. Yeah. But I mean, it was like it was sort of the anti. Like a film set is basically the antithesis of a festival. Like it's silent, and everybody knows exactly what they're doing and where they've got to be, and it's incredibly sort of you know health and safety conscious things like that. And then a festival is basically the exact opposite of that, and it's and yeah. So it was certainly a. Certainly, everyone had to get into a different mindset to shoot there. And then, just for guys, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you probably hate hearing about the Inbetweeners, but I just no, when, when, <laughs> when you... if I didn't, if I hadn't made the Inbetweeners, I'd have had nothing to talk about <laughs> ten years. So I'm absolutely delighted, <laughs> genuinely. Yeah, because I was wondering, is there, I mean, there must be a point when, obviously, when you first start, there's this idea of people kind of quoting lines in the street or going, oh, you know, shouting bus wanker, which I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. A few many times. When does that? When does it get to that point where it goes from being, oh, great, they've recognised that, they've they've picked up on that line to, if I get called bus wanker one more time, it, was, it never happens to me. <laughs> no, no one knows that's who I am. True, yeah. so, so for me, it's an absolute dream. It's been a total. Again, that's why I'm so still absolutely. <laughs> in fact, I, my, one of my best friends is Greg Davis, who plays Mr. Gilbert. Yeah. And my 
what I do to him consistently when I see him, which is like you know, once a month we'll go out or something, is I'll be a bit late to where we've arranged to meet, and then I'll mm. shout, Gilbert! behind him. <laughs> and he's, he's now at the stage where he stops even turning around because people shout Gilbert at him so much. <laughs> Obviously, I love that. But, he has, but you must get it. You must get people shouting. Yeah, I get it quite. I mean, I, you know, I, I suppose it's... <sighs> Basically, I'm just very, very grateful to be in a show that people actually like and remember and recognise. Um, my main thing is that I think I'm not funny enough when people stop me and they think I'm going to be this funny character and actually I'm just this man who's kind of like, oh, um, oh hang on, oh, yeah, uh, um, yeah, hang on, I'll get something in a minute. Um, uh, and and um, so that that's the uh, that's the main thing. I think I'm the, the fear that I'm kind of not as funny as the character, uh, which. Um, I think I suppose I'm probably not. <laughs> what is the thing that people do say the most? Would you say is there? Simon, just Simon. Just Simon, really. just like Simon. I'm just it? yeah. When just... we were shooting at Leeds, they did chant Boner eventually. I got Boner chanting at me yeah. when I, I went on went on stage at Leeds Festival to try and get the uh, huge numbers of people there um, to to do some kind of like hand actions and stuff that we needed, and um, uh, I am. Um, didn't know what was gonna happen because it was on, I was ter- actually that was the one time where I was just like genuinely scared. I was like, I don't want to go out there. Like I just don't know how the festival crowd was gonna react to like some little chump coming out and being like, oh hi, hey guys, I know you're excited about your favorite group, but can we play a little game with me first? Yeah. I was like, they're just gonna throw balls and piss at me, and like, and actually they they were sh- they were chanting, and I do think in an affectionate way, boner, and I was like, that is a win, that is like a solid win. <laughs> it's uh, it weird when you're walking around with Simon Bird and someone shouts Simon because you don't know who so they're talking confusing. about. It's so confusing. Yeah. I mean, it's just why did they have to know this? I mean, it's just yeah, it was a terrible having to go through it with people as well. We're like, yeah. yeah, and then there's yeah, he's called James. It sounds a bit like James, but that's but it's not. So it's a mixture of totally different names, some of the same names, and some of the same, the same sound a bit the same. So it's just like, I mean, I just answered a Simon. I mean, that's <laughs> it's easy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, simpler. thanks, Simon. That's been a. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Much appreciated. Yeah, don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!